Hey everyone, how's it going? I got a little equipment uh, teardown, or uh, rather a piece of, an e of equipment. Uh, what I got here is a float switch for a submersible sump pump. I've never seen one of these, I've always wanted to. And uh, today I'm going to open one up and we'll all see how these work. So this one's rated at 10 full load amps at 125 slash 250 volts AC. 60 lock rotor amps at 125 slash 250 volts AC. Um, maximum temperature 140 Fahrenheit, 60 degrees Celsius. Um, switch and cord assembly suitable for exported to sewage environments. And same thing written on your side. Cable's been cut off. And uh, so, I mean, they're fairly heavy. And my guess there's some kind of like a magnet that holds it on one side for a certain amount of time because if it were just a ball that moves freely in there it would tilt it would it would slide to the other end when I just angle a little bit and you can see it's not but if you I keep going just listen see it moves when it's nearly vertical and and when I move back so there's some kind of mechanism in there and I'm curious I've already, I've already seen if I could just split it, but I think I'm just going to have to hacksaw right down the middle or grind it or something. This must be like a plastic welded together. So, uh, I will splice this in two and I'll be right back. Man, they really had this thing sealed up very well. It took, a it took quite a bit of cutting just to, to split it open. So, well, well. Let's have a look. See what's see what's in this. Oh. All right. Not what I was expecting. I was expecting something more elaborate than this. So, okay, so I I see now um how the ball just doesn't freely move back and forth. They've I'll show you with this one because it's empty. Uh, so I, I don't know if you can notice there, but these three lines here, the middle one's actually raised up higher than the other two. So the so the ball has to overcome this bump here before it will move down or it will move back. So that's why you have to tilt it so far before you hear the ball move. Huh. Very simple but ingenious design actually. And you can see they had plastic welded this very well around it. There's this this float was like a, like I say attached to a submersible pump, and uh, it was just in like a, a basement well. So this thing sits in water pretty much all the time, and there's no signs of liquid ever getting into it. But. Uh, yeah, that's that's solid steel. That that's that's quite heavy. Yeah, that's that's solid steel. So let's see if I can actually make this. So yeah, that's it. I I was. I don't know why I was expecting something way more elaborate, but uh, yeah, a lot simpler than I thought it would be. What's this little switch rated for? 21 amps, 2 horsepower, 250 volt, 1 horsepower, 125 volts. So just a just a micro switch, huh? Well, that my friends is what you see inside a submersible pump float switch. They're not all designed the same. Some of them, the motors sit way up above the water and have a long shaft going down, and they just have like a float that moves up and hits the switch. Um, but uh, yeah, I've always wanted to open one of these and see what was inside. Hit the like button if you uh, like what you saw. Some steel balls. 
or steel ball. And um, yeah, so pretty cool. Thanks for watching, everyone.